What if there was a procedure that could make you look younger without scars or a long recovery? I'm not talking about fillers, Botox, lasers, threads, or radiofrequency devices. Microcoring claims to be the latest anti-aging procedure that can give you that refreshed look, but does it really work? I will walk you through the technology, the science, and then review some before and afters to give you my honest opinion. The Elecor system by Citrullus developed MCT or microcoring technology in hopes of skin rejuvenation. Their approach is to insert hollow needles to remove microcores of skin to help with moderate to severe wrinkles. They say that MCT is safe and effective in the treatment of moderate to severe facial wrinkles of the mid to lower face and should be considered in patients who are seeking minimally invasive treatment for wrinkles of the face. Microcoring is approved for Fitzpatrick skin types 1 through 4 in adults of age 22 and above. You may be asking yourself, is microcoring similar to microneedling? The difference is that microcoring is based on actual micro excision of the skin, including the epidermis and the dermis. Whereas in microneedling, the fine needles puncture the epidermis without any skin removal. Similar to microneedling though, pinpoint bleeding is the endpoint of microcoring treatment. Let's review for a second how skin ages over time. UV rays from the sun have multiple damaging effects on the skin, including its impact on the extracellular matrix, depleting certain types of collagen, resulting in skin aging. Microcoring works by increasing the amount of collagen and reducing the facial skin surface area. The primary touted benefit is that it does not cause scarring or hyperpigmentation. But is that in fact true? We will take a closer look. Here's how microcoring is performed. Typically, patients are locally injected with lidocaine and epinephrine solution prior to starting the treatment to ease the pain and bleeding. Microcoring treatments are performed using 22 to 25 gauge needles with densities up to about 10%, which is the percent of skin removed per one centimeter squared. Hollow coring needles have a diameter less than 0.5 millimeters, excising cores in the size of the needle's inner diameter. Coring depths are between three and five millimeters, meaning that it goes to the dermal layer, not only the epidermis. The minimum core count was 6,000 microcores per treatment in the majority of the studies. The small cores that it removes is supposed to limit the risk of scarring. For reference, when I do FUE hair transplants, the cores that we remove are about 0.9 to 1 millimeters, and they definitely leave a small circular scar behind. Microcoring is a minimally invasive procedure that takes about 30 minutes. Most patients in the studies underwent three procedures, each one month apart from the other. Procedure bleeding was mild in most cases and did not require additional treatment. Patients have described the level of pain as well tolerated, less than 2 on a scale of 0 to 10 during the procedure. After each treatment, the area is rinsed with sterile saline and aquaphor is applied daily for a minimum of seven days. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications. Some patients felt comfortable going out in public after three days. For others, it took longer. The overall satisfaction rate was reported to be 85.6%. Study results showed an average wrinkle grade change of 1.3 grades. The skin thickness of the treated areas has been shown to increase after microcoring. The risks of treatment include redness, swelling, bruising, burning, drying, tightness, crusting pain, tingling, bleeding, numbness, skin peeling, or circular marks on the skin. The contraindications for treatment are dermatosis, areas where silicone or synthetic material is implanted, any facial surgical scars less than 12 months old, patients who have undergone injections of dermal fillers or Botox or any other minimally invasive skin treatment in the treatment area during the previous six months or have scars less than six months old in the treatment area, have autoimmune conditions on the skin, and they say to avoid in areas where there's active acne or other active inflammatory lesions. Does microcoring create favorable aesthetic results? Let's review the before and afters. In these four patients, the after images on the right look brighter. They appear to have more flash, making it difficult to assess for true change. Change. To me, the facial contours look nearly unchanged and the wrinkles look only slightly better. In this set of images, the main difference is the width of the face, which has to do with the distance that the after photo was taken from the patient. And in this three quarter view, I see no contour change. In this next set of images, the biggest change in the before to the after is the tilt of the chin. It's higher in the after, which makes the neck contour difficult to assess. And the profile image shows no improvement in the after 
photo. In this image set, the biggest change is the heavy makeup in the after image. Again, no contour change is seen, and in the three quarter shot, the chin is again extended out more in the after image, making it challenging to accurately assess for change. Overall, micro coring appears safe, but every aesthetic procedure is operator dependent, meaning that the person performing the procedure has a lot to do with the final outcome. For example, if the provider is not careful and overlaps an area with the needle cores, it's possible that the small holes can make bigger holes, which could lead to scarring. Also, the reason the system is not approved for Fitzpatrick skin types 5 to 6 is because of the risk of scarring. So clearly, there is always some concern for poor healing. As in all medical and aesthetic treatments, there is a trade-off between risk and reward. More potential reward usually equates to more risk. Think facelift. Lower risk procedures, such as microcoring, inevitably have lower potential reward. As far as non-surgical skin tightening options go, which I get asked about often, I find that radio frequency results often are more significant than what I saw while reviewing microcoring technology. Since you like this video on microcoring, check out our video on microneedling for hair restoration.